welcome to the channel. I got this idea about making this plant base that you can put the bucket on and it spins. My wife's already told me it was a stupid idea, but whatever. Why would you need a base that spins when you could just walk around to the other side of it? We had this on like a balcony of a condo. Hey, you could just walk up there, spin it, let it face the sun, come out the next day, spin it, let the other side face the sun. It's a great idea. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a bottom base and then I'm going to cut this wood into a circle that sits on top of that. Then I have a lawnmower pulley that's got a bearing in it that I'm gonna attach and we'll put another base on top of that. Then you can just put your bucket on there and spin it. I want my very bottom base a little bit wider than the circle base I'm gonna cut for the bucket to sit on just to give it a little more support so it won't wobble. I think my Craftsman uh, skill saw is on its last leg. I have used the crap out of that skill saw. All right, let's cut these at 16 inches. I started watching that presumed innocent show on Apple TV. It's freaking good. Hey, Jake Gyllenhaal's the man. Name me one thing he's in that's not good. Bubble Boy? Okay. All right, I'll give you that one. This is gonna be the base for the very bottom. It's 16 inches. Then I'm gonna cut another one at 10 inches into a circle and put on top of here. Then we'll attach the pulley onto that. I just need to get a jigsaw and cut that out. Hey, it's like spinners on a car, you know? It just makes it better. My wife said, why don't you make it electric where it spins on its own? Listen, I didn't graduate from MIT, okay? This is the best I got. Cut this circle out here. So I got my bottom base facing this way, so I turned my circle base the other way. That way it'll lock everything together. I'm not gonna say this is gonna change the world, but it is what it is, you know? Some big company's probably gonna make this out of plastic and make millions of dollars on it. Maybe they'll send me a check. Now to keep it from rotting, I'm gonna take my blowtorch and I'm gonna burn the crap out of it. I went to the hardware store to get all this and there's a guy in front of me telling the cashier his whole life story. Get out the way, you know, I got stuff to do. It's like those people at the gas station buying them lottery tickets. I take a four, a six, a 41. Hey, I'm just trying to buy an energy drink, you know. I'll punch you in the face. I should have brought some marshmallows. Should be pretty sealed up now, huh? All right, now I got a lawnmower spindle. It's got the bearing in it. I was gonna get just a bearing, but I couldn't find one, and this is the closest thing they had at the hardware store, so. I actually think this is gonna be better anyways. I forgot to put my screw in. I drilled a hole through this center board at the center, and then I'm gonna thread, put the screw in from the bottom, like so. We got the screw in, we could just send our spindle, just like that and then put the other platform in, then tighten it down. All right, I got my screw in place. Now we need to take our uh, pulley, drop it down, cut a two by four at 10 inches that we can uh, put on there. Washer and a nut. Then we just screw our bucket to the two by four. Screw, and you tighten it down. We have a turntable. Drill me a hole in the bottom of the bucket. And there we go. Take me a couple of screws and anchor it down. Take you a drill bit and put you a few drain holes in it. If you get bugs on your plant, you can just go spin them off. Hey, it's science. Hey, you're picking your tomatoes or whatever. Hey, there's one on the back side I can't reach. There it is. Easy peasy. Hey, thanks for watching and subscribe, and maybe this was helpful to somebody. Hey, I know it's gonna help me. I'm about to plant something in it right now.